Every single day, I receive hundreds of comments from people across the world, worried, scared, or simply looking for clarity about HIV. Many of you ask the same questions again and again. And today, I will answer 15 of the most common and important ones. If you have ever been confused about HIV testing, symptoms, or risks, this video is for you. Let's begin. Question 1. Do HIV symptoms appear in the first month? In the first two to four weeks after infection, some people experience acute HIV symptoms, fever, sore throat, rash, night sweats. But here's the truth. Not everyone gets symptoms. Some remain completely symptom-free for months or years. That's why symptoms alone are never reliable. Testing is the only way to know. Question 2. Which test can detect HIV earliest and when to take it? The HIV and APCR test can detect the virus as early as 10 to 14 days after exposure. The fourth generation combo test antigen antibody can detect infection reliably after 18 to 45 days. The antibody only tests rapid or ELISA are conclusive after 90 days. Recommendation If you add exposure, test it to weeks or an APCR if available, then confirm again at 6 weeks and 3 months. Question 3. I had risky exposure, got symptoms, but after many negative tests I'm still worried. What should I do? Your test results matter more than symptoms, HIV symptoms overlap with common flu, stress, anxiety, even skin conditions. If you tested multiple times ELISA, TRIDO, rapid at 3 to 6 months and they're negative, you are HIV negative. Your next step should not be another HIV test. It should be addressing your anxiety and visiting a doctor for the symptoms. It might be unrelated. Question 4. I tested negative after 18 years from exposure. Am I HIV free? Yes, absolutely. HIV would show up in any standard test long before that. If you tested negative after 18 years, you are 100% HIV free. No further testing needed. Question 5. I've been HIV positive for 9 years. I'm afraid of dying soon. Living with HIV is no longer a death sentence. With art antiretroviral therapy, people live normal lifespans. Many live 30 to 40 plus years with HIV. What matters is, take your art regularly, monitor CD for counts and viral load, maintain a healthy lifestyle, you are not dying soon, you are living, and with proper care, you can live a full life. Question 6. Which is the best test after 90 days, rapid or antigen? After 90 days, any approved test, rapid, ELISA. CMIA is conclusive. Rapid tests are good, but lab-based tests may be more sensitive. Still, after 90 days, both are accurate. Question 7. What if two HIV-positive people have unprotected sex? There's no double HIV, but risks remain. Different HIV strains exist. Unprotected sex can lead to superinfection, where one partner gets a second strain, sometimes resistant to treatment. Always use protection, even if both are HIV positive. Question 8. If my TPHA test is negative, am I safe from syphilis? Yes. TPHA negative means you don't have syphilis. But remember, TPHA tests only syphilis, not HIV or other STDs. Question 9. Which HIV test is most reliable, rapid or lab? Both are reliable if taken at the right time. Lab tests are slightly more sensitive. But after the window period 90 days, even a rapid test is conclusive. Question 10. After multiple negative results at 4 to 5 months, 
Am I safe? Yes, with multiple negative tests at 3 to 5 months, including antibody tests and Oroquic, you are HIV negative. Stop testing, focus on your health. Question 11. Myaclia tests at 90 days and 5 months are negative. Do I need further testing? No, that's conclusive. You are HIV negative. No more testing is required. Question 12. How long does it take for HIV symptoms to show up? Acute symptoms may appear in two to four weeks. Chronic symptoms, like weight loss, recurrent infections appear years later if untreated. But again, not everyone shows symptoms. Question 13. Despite 10 plus negative tests, I still have symptoms. What should I do? Your test results are conclusive. You do not have HIV. The ongoing symptoms may be from stress, other infections, or unrelated conditions. You should consult a general physician, not retest for HIV. Question 14. Can you get HIV through masturbation? No. HIV cannot be transmitted through masturbation. It requires direct exchange of certain fluids blood, semen, vaginal fluids, breast milk into the bloodstream, masturbation is safe. Question 15. What does an ECLIA value of 528.30H mean? Lab values can confuse. What matters is whether the test is reactive positive or non-reactive negative based on the cutoff index. A high number doesn't always mean HIV unless marked as positive. Always read results with the lab's reference range. HIV is surrounded by myths, fear, and misinformation. But knowledge is the strongest weapon we have. If you've tested negative after the window period, believe the signs. If you're positive, treatment can give you a long, healthy life. Don't live in fear. Live in awareness. And if you still have questions, drop them in the comments. You might see them answered in the next video.